portion of this video is brought to you by AutoZone. In this video, I'm playing every NBA arcade basketball game in one video. From NBA Street to NBA Ballers to NBA Jam, there'll be some gems you've never heard of before and the classics that we've all played. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if y'all clicked on this video because you were bored. And let's get this started. A portion of this video is sponsored by AutoZone. More on that a little later. We're on the original NBA Jam. If you know anything about arcade basketball, you know just how pivotal this series right here was and this was the original NBA Jam. Let's have some fun, man. Man, these controls, I do not miss them at all. <laughs> when did the game come out? Because I don't see Shaq. 1994. God damn. Get some rocket with Chicago. Mavericks versus Bulls. Got it. Man, games in the 90s. Whew. Okay. I'm learning how to play already. Okay. All right. Say, say word. Hey, where's Michael Jordan at? Pass it. Pass it. Pass it. Okay. Pass back. Pass back. We shoot these. We shoot these. Yes, sir. Cash, baby! When the last time y'all seen NBA Jam the original? Now, a lot of the games back in the day, they don't let you use your, the other AI. So you, you either play with a friend on your team or is the AI playing. You can't use her both people. Oh my God, on my head top. Okay, all right. We're getting disrespectful. Hey! Okay, turbo, turbo, turbo. The basketball gaming experience in the 90s was so simple. Like just you, all they knew all you wanted to do was play head to head. There's a turbo button, a dunk button, and a pass button, three buttons. That's it, that's all you need. And that's it. And you can sit here for hours having fun playing these games with your friends, that's crazy. Next up is Barkley's Shut Up and Jam 1. Charles Barkley always wanted to be a little different. I mean, he hasn't been in many NBA 2K games at all. He's coming out with his own basketball game. This was in like 94, not yeah, 94. Oh my God, it worked on the first try. Guys, I'm getting very lucky today. Here we go, Barkley Shut Up and Jam 1994, baby. And there's different players to choose from. Now, they didn't have an NBA license for this game, so it's just a whole bunch of random people with random names. Okay, cool, so it's Sir Charles and Smoothie versus Flyby and T-Bone. I'm Charles Barkley. There's a world map in the shape of a basketball. Oakland, Seattle, Chicago, Brooklyn. Let's go to Oakland. All right, we're playing in Oakland, fellas. Off the rip! Yes, sir! How you jump, how you dunk, how you dunk, how you dunk? Damn, I got swatted, okay. Uh, pass it back. Is this how you pass? Okay, B is how you pass in the game. Got it. That's how you shoot. Cash! Okay, pass it, pass it, pass it. Sir Charles, that's money. Cash! Let's get it, baby. Pass it back, 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 pass it back. Pull up. Cash! Okay, this game is getting pretty easy. <laughs> Man, this game, you move so quick in this game, just left, right, up, and down. You can move diagonal too, I guess. Pull up. Cash! Wait, did that not go in? That didn't that miss? Oh, okay, that missed. It definitely looked like it went in, or it should have. This game is like no excitement. Like, there's nothing, ex I need something exciting to go have. Goaltending? Hey, I say this, for every street game, there should be no goaltending violation. That should be illegal in a street product. Full court. Did it hit? That hit! Well, Charles Barkley said he didn't have enough because he came out with Shut Up and Jam 2. Yeah, I have been blessed, ladies and gentlemen. I playing in Sega Genesis for the first time in a while and all of these games are working on the first attempt. Okay, so the UI is a little bit improved but still pretty atrocious. Tournament exhibition and options. Uh, okay, the UI. Jeez. And here we go, guys. Those are the teams. They're like black guy, sunglasses, backwards cap. That's a Tyrone. That's a Tyrone if I ever seen one. Why are we dressed like this? <laughs> what is going on? You got a voiceover in the game. What? <laughs> he did like six somersaults. What the hell? Dunk it, dunk it, dunk it. Yes, sir. 180, baby. I'm on the board. Okay. How about that? Ooh, shove him. Sheesh. I missed a wide open layup. They did a full court alley oop. Okay. Why are we missing wide open layups? The. Yo, I swear to God, he did a layup and he got blocked on a tip slam. What? I'm curious how well these sold, though. Like, I get it. I mean, this is probably 1995, 1996. The voiceover in the game just feels real amateurish. There's no commentary. The music is very generic. I had to turn it off. It seems pretty difficult to be able to block people in this game for whatever it's worth. We're wearing, like, high school wrestling attire. And every time I go out for a shot, he's stuffing the soul out of me. Just everything I put up, bro. Can get me off this game, man. Well, Charles Barkley, valiant effort on Shut Up and Jam 2. I can see how it might be fun playing with your friends. The game is a little confusing. I don't know why we're wearing uh, high school wrestling attire. But I like it. He said, I don't like what's out there. I'm going to make my own thing. I think that's admirable. But let's go to another console. 
Ah, there you are. This portion of the video is sponsored by AutoZone. Now, I know everybody knows just how much I love driving my vehicles. And that's why AutoZone is my premier destination when it comes to car care and car repair needs. AutoZone has the parts, products, and accessories at the right price with friendly and helpful AutoZoners to make sure that you can get back out on the road. AutoZone has plenty of free in-store services like their free battery testing and free battery charging. They also have their fixed finder program which allows you to figure out what's wrong with your car, check engine lights and other warning lights. And of course they have their loan a tool program for when you're going to get the job done yourself. But when it comes to driving, uh, visibility is important. I mean, just listen to this. <laughs> It goes without saying that to be able to drive, you need to be able to see. Ladies and gentlemen, if your wipers are dirty or worn, that's a safety risk. You gotta replace that and you should ideally be replacing it every six months. And that also applies if your bulbs are dim. You should ideally be changing both your wipers and your bulbs at the same time, ladies and gentlemen. AutoZone also offers free in-store pickup at AutoZone.com. Just make sure your local store has it in stock. Drive over there with your vehicle that works. And you can pick it up often in as little as 30 minutes. If you prefer to get your stuff delivered, you can do that too. AutoZone offers free next day delivery in most markets when your order is over $35. And if you want to work on your car but you don't know how, they have free helpful how-to videos and tips over there at AutoZone.com. Get in the zone. AutoZone. Head over to over 5,800 stores or use the top link in the description. Go to AutoZone.com and do your car a favor, ladies and gentlemen. Take good care of your car and it'll take good care of you. It's a huge thank you to AutoZone for helping sponsor this portion of the video. We're on the PlayStation 2 with it and we're starting things off with the NBA Baller series. This is the original. You can see the Range Rover in the back, Stefan Marbury with the bust down chain. The quintessential generic arcade street basketball experience. Of course, there's diamonds on the disc as well. I had a lot of good memories playing this game growing up. Midway, yes sir. The game released in 2004, so it was in the height of the street basketball genre. And boy, did they take advantage. This game was like, if you took all like the generic things you would assume about somebody who plays street basketball and you put them all into a game, just real generic stuff. But in a way that was a little corny, but also was kind of fun to play. Uh, so of course they got the quick play, sweet different modes, the versus, the 1v1v1, the TV tournament, the rags to riches. I have to fucking, what is a rags to riches? Uh, here we got T-Mac, it looks like, yep. All right, uh, oh my God. See, this is what I'm talking about. Rucker tournament, let's run that. So when I tell you guys things like 2K needs to add all these parks into the game, it's because I've seen it done for decades. Stop telling me it's not possible. Play to 11, win by two, best of three, two minute rounds, fine hidden moves, you got it. Okay, sauce up, sauce up, sauce up, cash. All right, and I'm gonna hit that for sure. Yes, sir. I'm missing everything, what the f This is my creative player I'm playing with. He is absolutely atrocious. He's definitely not leveled up. Ooh, ooh. The game is simple, easy to understand. You can pick it up and play, but at the same time, get competitive with your guys. That's a good balance. And because there's so many different abilities, you always feel like there's something else you could be doing. They're playing music. <laughs> hey, spin move, filet. Okay, spin. Oh, yes, off his head. Did we hit that? Free throw line, Jimmy. Cash. Yes, sir. Look, everybody got baggy clothes on, as many chains as their neck can handle, man. Of course, the kicks, the fact that there's a stage on the screen or the chat gets lit whenever something happens. I love it. And they got maps. You can play in Stefan Marbury's residence, Duncan Family Compound, the Kid Family Estate, the Bryant Vacation Villa, the Garnett Residence, the O'Neill Residence, VC's Pinnacle Tower Penthouse, Allen Iverson's Studio, Naismith Basketball Hall of Fame, Tracy McGrady's Manor. Yo, the list goes on in the places you could play if you want to. And here we go. This is a unique mode, a 1v1v1 and act a fool. Okay, so I got a whole bunch of different abilities with Steve Nash. Okay, I just passed it to Out of Bounds. I see it back. Is that gonna hit? Cass! Off his, off his head, off his head. Off both our heads? Okay, hold on, let's let's click the juice buttons. Whoa, I'm getting disrespectful today. Let me see that back. Yes, sir. <laughs> next up is uh, the next iteration of NBA Ballers, NBA Ballers Fina. This game released in 2006, so it was a couple years after the original. There's actually two discs for this one because one was the soundtrack. They love the soundtrack so much they thought you might want to pop it in your car when you're driving. Whole lot of diamonds. 
as expected. What is happening right now? Helicopters, we got a ban. Yeah. <laughs> NBA Ballers Phenom. They got different modes though, between the story mode, you play different game modes, you can play the 2v2, shootout challenge, practice, 1v1v1, and the 1v1. Let's play the story mode though, make a new game. Sauce took everything, including your girl Kimberly. <laughs> And he snatched my girl, and you gotta get payback! Yes! Let me get my girl back, man. Okay, this is the attributes. Oh, say less! We gonna have a three-pointer looking nice! I gotta tell you, the league went all out for you street ballers. Oh my god. Oh, yeah, they have a dance floor in the house, guys. Check this out, kid. Keep this with you at all times. This all is my favorite thing of all so time. Good luck this week, bro. I'm in love with this I game. I remember saying the same thing to Trix last year. And look at him now. Hey, hey, y'all want me to do a playthrough on this game? They got a little story mode to it, okay. You can continue the current story, change your gear, check your stats, save your progress, go to main menu, build a custom crib. What? There is no way, bro. There is no way. No way you can have a car? Yes! This is my favorite game so far next to Street 2. I don't have no abilities right now. I'm not gonna lie, I, I don't even wanna stop playing this. Is that That's problematic. Yes, sir. We hit those. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. D up. This game is responsive. The gameplay feels better. There's a sprinting that actually feels different this year. Oh, my God. The gameplay feels better? On top of all of the improvements? I'm in love right now. This is a 10 out of 10 game. What is that? What is that? What is that? What is that? I don't know what the hell just happened. Let me see that. Boom. Off the heezy. What? I just lost it myself. Off the heezy. We hit that. Yes, sir! Hey, anyway, we can't play this game forever. Or could we? <laughs> hey, let me know if y'all want to see a playthrough. <laughs> I guess it only makes sense the next game we're playing is NBA Street 1. This was the beginning of Legendary. Of course, they have Stretch, the baller you play at the end, the best hooper in the game once you complete it. Actually, he wasn't the best hooper in the game, but he was the hardest to beat. EA Sports. Big! Sorry guys, I always tried to catch it when he said it. it was, I, that's my thing, I always used to do it back in the day. Good memories on this game. This is kind of what, I don't want to say, because NBA Jam largely was the reason this genre exploded, but NBA Jam exploded arcade basketball. NBA Street exploded street basketball. There's a small distinction to make there. Well, there's different modes. There's City Circuit, there's Hold the Court, there's Street School. Of course, you could create a player. You have chosen Toronto as your circuit team. Continue. Yes. Is that Michael? Michael! Michael! What? We could choose Michael Jordan? How is that even fair? Oh, man. We're playing the Vancouver Grizzlies. When did this game come out? 2002. All right. Makes sense now. There's a train in the back, a stadium, a court. We in the city. I love the vibes, man. Easy difficulty. I ain't choose that. They did. Get. Oh, my God. Yes. NBA Street. It's so smooth. The gameplay is so smooth, baby. That's, that's Michael Jordan. Okay, this is Charles Oakley. I, he fell. He tripped over himself because he couldn't handle the basketball. Wait. Oh. Hey, Charles, you're getting disrespectful, my guy. Hey, jump. One of y'all jump. I'm trying to throw alley-oops. I'm trying to get game breakers, man. Now, I, I, I don't know what it is right now. The overall gameplay experience of NBA Street is here. Uh, aside from the fact that Michael Jordan is playing with the Raptors, it's kind of throwing me off a little bit. But it's not like the fun is not. It's missing some fun right now. Maybe it's just a lack of moves. I'm going to try using some different modifiers real quick. Shoot it. You're wide open. Shoot that. Let me see that. <laughs> hey, hey, shoot that. Hold on. Oh, it went over me, damn it! <laughs> they do have a suite of different moves. I don't like how fast your turbo runs out though. Cause you can't do too much moves before it's just over. Get that out of here! And he misses dive. Oh, wow, all right, okay. We're, oh, we're shoving now, huh? Let me see that. Man, my, my, my head hit the rim. Oh, please, please! I missed! Please, get that! Yes, sir! I'm so close to a game breaker right now. Oh, I see you! Game breaker. It's over. It's over. Any two turbos in circle? That's my game breaker? Why didn't I do anything flashy? That's it? Why? Hey, but the next game, oh uh, yes. In my opinion, and a lot of people's opinion, the GOAT greatest all time NBA Street Volume 2. Hey, they really put it together with this game, man. They took the core gameplay that made NBA Street so addicting to play, and they added a lot of fun in so many imaginable ways. Oh my God, just the sounds it makes in the menu alone is giving me flashbacks of great memories. You know, they had this, this big, 
Sorry guys, something wrong with me. Yo! Memory! Okay, let's click play it. They got the pickup game, NBA Challenge, Be a Legend, and Street School. Yes! Oh my god, are you kidding me? Hey, we're going with the stars, fellas. I'm Allen Iverson, Shaquille O'Neal, and Kobe Bryant. Yes, sir! Hey, I always wanted to go to Rucker Park, and I've been in New York so many times, but I've never been. Now, I hate that you can't just play music on YouTube, because these games, the soundtrack was so vital to the feel of the games, both NBA Ballers and NBA Street. But the upgrades are immediately apparent, just from small stuff they do, like this before the game. The game looks a little bit more vibrant graphically. What ad? Sound effects they would add when you do the off the heezy. The game breaker saw a significant improvement. The moves were a lot more fun to perform. And the commentator made the, let me see that. This commentator, I literally spent a good portion of my life trying to figure out this guy's name and I finally figured it out. This is the embodiment of what great commentary sounds like. When you hear him talk, now there's no music playing in the background going do 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 Can't hear that right now. But imagine that vibe while he talks about the way that you just got swatted. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We here and we hit that. Kobe! It'd be the small stuff that make games fun, bro. I be trying to tell you, man. Sound effects. It'd be the intro. Affirmative, yes. He did do that to you. <laughs> I love this commentator so much, man. And in this game, you could get level one game breaker, save it, and then get level two game breaker and truly get on your opponents. What? <laughs> Shaq just fell over. They just kicked past the ball, man. I'm getting dicked down. Yes, sir, baby. Here's up, Iverson. I like to see that. I put Michael Jordan on his ass. <laughs> game breaker! Do not give them the ball! We're playing keep away, baby! It's not for you. It's mine. We need a rebound. You hit it? No, no, no! I got this deal! I got this deal! Don't give it back! <laughs> yes, sir! Please, please, please. Yes! Yes, I right, one more from Game Breaker. One more. Wait. Yup. Shaq eats that. That's food for Shaquille O'Neal. Okay. All right. Well, let's do something cool with it since we got Game Breaker. Okay. I wish I got level two, but I don't think I'm good enough to get that. Let me hear you say, yeah. Yeah. Next up, we got NBA Street Volume 3. After the success of the Volume 2, of course, they said they want to run it back. EA Sports. Big. Well, we're in the main menu now. Uh, there's a game on, play it. You can hop online this time around. Yo, they had this court on like NBA 2K3. I remember. I love that they give you the history about the court before the game starts. That's cool. Yes, the game feels unresponsive and clunky. You hate to see that, man. Okay, let's see how the moves feel though. Oh, this game feels worse. This feels forced. Like the clothes are way too baggy. This is so odd. This is such a severe step back in terms of gameplay that it's kind of taking me out of the NBA Street experience. I don't remember it being this bad. Why are these guys, he's so massive. Shaq is a behemoth. Let me see that. Okay, all right, I see you, boom, boom. So the more combos you put together, the more game break you get. They kind of spell it out for you in this game, unlike the previous games. Okay, I'll take, oh, he's, I, oh, all right, we just, okay. Boom, boom, oh man, you missed. This feels so odd, the game feels clunky. The mechanics are not nearly as smooth as they were. What a huge downgrade this is, wow. This is not NBA, this does not feel like NBA Street. Like it has the, it doesn't even feel like the UI is NBA Street. Did he do a honey dip? Yo! Do the legs, honey dip, that's wild. Oh my God, he dunked from so far away. Now I got game breaker. Okay, that's it? That's the whole game breaker? Whoa, 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 what? That's hard, that's hard. Can I get a replay or something? I only get to see that once. All right, well, uh, glad to be off that game. Next up, we have Street Hoops. This is probably the most forgotten fun street basketball game that has ever released. And you're gonna realize why in a moment. The game released, ooh, early, 2002. The disc itself is pretty simple. Oh, whoa. 
Okay. Talk to me. What's going on, man? What are we looking at? All right, main event, yeah. Okay. Instead of going heavily into the NBA side of things, Street Hoops went the opposite. They don't have an NBA license, if I'm not mistaken. No, they don't. They just went straight Street Hoopers and won and all of that. What game modes we got? World tournament, lower to the court, full court pickup, half court pickup. Different teams to choose from. There's the Mad Bombers, the Urban Hitmen, Monster Jammers, Dominators. Hey, let's go with the Ankle Breakers. We're at foot action. <laughs> yeah, I'm ready to hoop. Ball is just levitating in air right now. And you could tell this game was made in 2002. What's going on right now? Where am I? Am I on the court? Yeah, bro, did I, am I not in the game? <laughs> bro, put me in the game, man. What's wrong with you guys? Alright, 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 alright. Oh, that's how you shoot. So wrong button. The game kind of moves a little bit slower, but it's adorable. Honestly. Like that makes sense. Have, has, has gameplay ever been described as adorable? Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah. What? Dunk! There I guess. I guess. I'll take it. This was such a fascinating attempt at a street basketball game. I imagine it didn't sell too well because we never saw a sequel. This is such a like simple basketball gaming experience. Look at the tricks you can do. Yes! You can just click the square button to oblivion doing cool sh and then whenever you want, just pull up cash. The names they've given these people are also hilarious. All right, cornbread. How you get your ankles took from a distance? That was a long range ankle breaker. This game isn't as arcadey. Like it almost feels a little simulation street. If, if, if I could explain it, maybe that's the best way to put it. What an odd game. Activision, what were you thinking when you dropped this game? Hmm? Next up, we got NBA Jam on the PlayStation 2. So much success on the first one, they decided let's run it back. This game released in 2003. So there's actually a pretty decent amount of time separating the original one from the follow-up. They got Exhibition, the Jam Tournament, Legends Tournament, and the Jam Store. What do they put in the store? I'm curious. Oh, okay, you can create a player and create teams. Got it. Whoa, it is laggy. Whoa, why is it so unresponsive? Okay, so the Jam Basics includes getting on fire when you hit three shots in a row, pressing triangle to call for an alley-oop, uh, pressing R3 to activate a hot spot, and holding turbo and pressing square to knock someone down. Already, guys, we're already shoving people on the floor and everything. Okay, all right, I'm saucing up. I see you, I see you, I see you. Oh yes, off rip, oh my God. All right, not bad. Honestly, I was coming in here pretty pessimistic. Not bad, not gonna lie to you. Oh my god, do you see the way he hit the floor? The gameplay feels good, but it's kind of missing some of that NBA Jam charm, though. You know what I'm saying? The thing that kind of made NBA Jam so great. I messed with the gameplay, though. See that? Gameplay feels smooth. The commentator, I don't mind him. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's do simple. Something simple. Something. What the? What was that? Was that a jump shot? I like just simple passes. It's through the legs and all of that. Throw it up. Boom. Alley-oop. And now my sh is maxed. Now I can plus R3 for a hot spot. Let me see that. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Where's Iverson? Iverson, see that, see that, see that, see that? All right, boom. R3 for a hot spot. Okay, and now I pull up. How did I miss? Oh, because I activated a hot spot. <laughs> I didn't shoot on my hot spot. My bad. The gameplay is interesting. It feels smooth, but it's not. It's missing out on the NBA Jam fun, though. I don't know why. Why is it missing out on it for me? I don't know, but it's just not doing it. Hey, let's go on to the next one. Next up, we got NBA Playground. First things first, y'all notice I'm in the game. Uh, usually people get paid to do stuff like that, but I'm dumb, so I ain't get no money. But do you notice though, real quick, do you notice? Do you notice how there's a ranked and unranked? Even in a casual basketball product, you got a whole bunch of different maps. New York, Tokyo, Paris, Shanghai, London, Las Vegas, Seattle. What am I be talking about, man? This, this is dope to me. I love being able to play in different places around the world, man. I'm playing on Xbox controller, by the way, because that's the only way you should be playing basketball games. A whole bunch of different power-ups and stuff within the game. Oh, no, 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 no! That's not what I meant to do. Blocked! Hey, my blocks are not working, buddy! Where's the jump shot? Oh, one second! God damn it! Man, I'm getting railed right now. Pin that, pin that, pin that, pin that, pin that. Pin that. Please let me hit that. Oh my god. I'm getting fucked. I'm down 11 nothing right now. Why are these guys so elite? What? Oh, I finally got some buckets. All right, I'm back in the game. Let me get that. Boom, throw it up. Boom, boom. Hey! What? I'm sick and tired of you, Dwight Howard. Let me get that. Let me get that. Let me get that. Let me get that. Oh, yeah, we out. I'm about to sh on you. 
So there's different power-ups in the game. As you score buckets, you get new power-ups, and they have the 12-foot jump power-up. So it becomes incredibly difficult to block their attempts. So I gotta stop them before they get dunking. No way. I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. Easy dunk. Don't blow it! Yeah, buddy! Wow, he's garbage. All right, let's make a comeback happen. Why is the shot clock moving that fast? What? Why did the shot clock just go that quickly? Oh, come on, Jason kid. Get yammed on. Get yammed on, J kid. I'm about to get a power up. Let's go. Oh, wow. Wow, they're choking right now. They are choking right now. I'm going to take it all the way. Yeah, buddy. I can't tell if that's algorithmic or not, but it's looking too suspicious right now, buddies. I'll take it, though. I'm back in the game. It's tied. 13-13. Wow, that clock is moving fast. That got to go. Yes, sir. And I'm up. Please stop him. Please. All right, well, now they're up. Whoa, he stole that? And he dunked on my head? I'm down three. Let me see that. Oh, yeah! Tie game! Oh, they're, I can't let them shoot or else they're going to make it. They're going to make it. Please. Oh, my God, I'm clutch! 16! Blocked! Oh, for the game! Seven seconds left. Agent in the corner. Ah! NBA Playgrounds 2 was the sequel. NBA 2K saw the success of the original NBA Playgrounds. Almost like a resurgence in this otherwise very dead genre at the time. The UI is a little bit more complicated. There's exhibition games. There's a court editor. Daily challenges. An NBA season. Of course, the card collections. Cross-platform allows you to play against users, users from other platforms in NBA Playgrounds Championships. Do you want to activate this functionality? Sure. There's the unranked mode, competitive mode, cooperative mode, and three-point contest. Let's go unranked. This is 2K's real first attempt at trying something cross-platform. They got a commentator in this game. We're on NBA Playgrounds 2 with it. I love the environment. Graphically, it looks good. I like the little bobblehead action. Good vibes, Santa Monica vibes. In terms of gameplay, this game feels better. Full court! Well, I missed that. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. These commentators talking a lot of smack right now. All right, say less. All right. Now, the dribbling in these games is like, it's pretty mediocre. You just spam the right stick enough times, you do a bunch of moves. Oh, yeah, buddy! Whoa, okay, Dwight, we getting disrespectful, huh? Throw it up, throw it up, throw it up. Easiest line. two points I'll ever receive. <laughs> These games are like, in, they're designed to be easy. You click the right stick, they just complete a slew of dribble moves. You're not supposed to like be playing these competitively for any metric. You click square to dunk, the shot meter is massive so you can't really miss. And occasionally Dwight Howard spins seven times before he dunks the basketball from the three point line. Oh no. <laughs> All right, bud. Okay. All right, Dwight. Stamina runs out pretty fast in this game. Let me see that. Yes! The next game is probably one of my favorites of all time, and it's a game that most of you guys probably have never played, but if you were born in the 90s and you had a PC, you played this game. Now, when you see the gameplay, you're gonna ask me why I ever played this game, but you have to give it a chance. Uh, they had its own client. This game was like, it, there was a lot of Asian people playing this game, you know what I'm saying? My best friends were from the Philippines when I played this game. If you guys ever played those like PC client games like Drift City or RuneScape, then you'll see similar vibes here from Freestyle 2. You could tell this game was not made in North America. Can you not? <laughs> there was a lot to this game. There was depth. There was events that went on all the time. Of course, you know, there's uh, aesthetics. You could buy cosmetics and microtransactions and all of that. That's how they made their money. Oh, oh my God. Okay, there's rooms of people waiting. Yeah, I remember back when I played this game, I had a girlfriend. And one time I hopped on and they had like a park mode. And I went on because I was like, yo, it's time for me to hoop. It's evening time. Just came back from school, finished my homework and all of that. And she was hooping with some other man. I was like, what the? What's going on here? Well, I'm, I'm in it. I'm chilling now. I got a couple friends here. I don't know if they want to play with me, though, because I'm like a rank one. They might just bounce. He was a good newbie. R.I.P. Who they talking about? The last guy? <laughs> ready, ready, ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I don't know how to play it. God damn it. I haven't prepared. It's been so long. Yeah, that's my bad, team. That's my bad. Okay. I don't know how to click. Okay. I figured out how to pass. Do something with it. Yes. Yes, sir! We back! Wow, my teammate's getting a snatch, bro. 
Hey, come on. We can't be late. That's easy buckets. We can't let those up. Yo, we letting up buckets right now. Come on, man. I can't lose my first game back. Oh, you sneaky back. Hey, come on, AJ. We hit those. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We're back in there. We're back in there. Down 9 8. What is that shot attempt? What the f What? How you shoot the 360 three pointer shot? Alley oop! Oh, oh, all right. We got a little finesse. Good boards. Good boards. Yeah, she got long legs. How tall is she? God damn. Hey, all right. We got one minute, 49 seconds left, and we're down big right now. Good shot. Good shot. Good shot. I like those. Hey, D up. D up. D up. Find another scorer? What? Are they trying to say I'm not a scorer? Why would you say? I could score. I could put up buckets. They're talking smack in the chat. No, can't win. No defense. Ha ha. Shut the f*** up, bro. Okay. Wow. You you could do that all game and you just now chose to start doing that? For the game, please. Oh, and I finally hit one. I mean, is the game over and it doesn't really matter? Yeah, but I hit one and that's all that matters. So I guess they were desperate to come out with a sequel for Freestyle 2 and that's leading up to this next game, three on three freestyle. This game came out on consoles. It was more like a casual freestyle experience, but as you might realize, it kind of lost its initial freestyle charm when they came out with this game. So they have a whole bunch of different characters in the game. They got Big Dog, Lee, Clark, Murdoch, there's Amanda. Okay, Amanda. All right. Ooh, all right. Hold on now, Amanda. Okay, all right. Uh, let me chill out. She's a pixel. Oh, wow. All right, so we found a game against Enrique Alonso. This game off rip graphically looks better than Freestyle 2. I even like the environments better. They look more lively and alert. A place that you actually want to be. They're really trying it, man. This is the most interesting attempt at I at an arcade style game I've seen in the last decade. Interesting, not the best, but just interesting. Finesse! That felt good! The gameplay is not as bad as I thought it was gonna be, I'm not gonna lie. I actually don't mind the gameplay. I know probably watching from home it looks like real gimmicky and like not something that you'd wanna play, but I'm actually kind of enjoying it. I'm wide open. I'm wide open and you shot a contested mid-range, bozo. Hey, I take back what I said about the gameplay, I'm not gonna lie. It, it kind of just feels a little bit slower. Let me see that, let me see that. Buckets, buckets on buckets, let's get it. Freestyle 2 is definitely better gameplay. This is not horrible, but it's not as like fun and fast paced. And it's not as clean either. I'm noticing some dropped inputs. Cash, let me see that, cash, threes up, let's go. He's playing the same game. He's not passing to his teammates. He posts up and tries to boost out of it. Bro, he's actually corny in the way he plays, dog. The game just is a lot less fun to play when your teammates can't be other real people. It just feels like a simple feature that wasn't added that I feel like would have added a lot to the game. There's different buffs you can give your players by eating food. There's different power-ups in the game. Of course, as you play, you unlock even more characters. The freestyle basketball experience is usually played on keyboard, but for the sake of me just being used to controller, I'm playing it on an Xbox controller. This is an upgrade, but the second you play it, like you just want to go back and play Freestyle 2 because it just feels smoother. We are on the PlayStation 3 finally, and we're starting things off with Ballers, NBA Ballers, Chosen One. They have Dwight Howard on the cover of this game. Uh, this is what the disc looks like right here, ladies and gentlemen. Man, I remember some of these games I played. Yo, they had they had hitters on the PlayStation 3. They used to have like really good free PlayStation Plus games. Man, these loading screens are taking an awfully long time. The actual UI of the game takes a hit. Uh, the fact that Dwight Howard is staring you in your soul is one thing. Uh, of course, they got the on online stuff they got different game modes from the 1v1v1 the 2v2 1v1 shootout practice and the three-point challenge and of course the story mode which i can't help but get into uh play four periods two minute periods find hidden moves okay why <laughs> what the f bro this gameplay has taken a massive leap in the exact opposite direction it needs to. The menu has two options, resume game and quit game. No camera options, no audio options, video options, graphics options. This game does not feel good. I like the fact that they're wearing random clothes though. That's, that's dope, I guess. What is this game? I'm blowing wide open layups right now. I just airballed that. What? What the f- What? 
What am I? What? Am, okay, so he stole it. Ray Allen stole it. Did a somersault in in a black abyss. <laughs> right, well, this is the worst game I've played. I think all video. Everything about this game feels forced. The cutaways where they pretend to just do this right here. And it's no wonder why this was the final game in the NBA Ballers series. I wouldn't want to buy another one after playing this. This game released in 2007. Anyone and everyone who loved the NBA Street series went out and copped it. Unfortunately though, it wasn't enough. The game didn't sell too well. It was the last one of the series. Uh, the NBA Home Court gameplay I remember was great, or I should say good at least, but I did not like the UI of this game. Well, there's different game modes from the Home Court Challenge to Game Breaker Battles, where the only time you can score is when you have a Game Breaker. They got the Create a Baller. There's online on this game. Game, uh, and that's really about it. Let's play a pickup game. I, I actually have not played this game in quite a minute now. I'm gonna go with Kobe Bryant, Allen Iverson, and Dirk Nowitzki. We play our ball oceanside, between the breakwater, the weight benches, and the California palm trees. Oh, I see you, I see you. All right, bad pass attempt. I got my rebounds though. Oh, we pull up and we hit these. Cash. Hey, we're playing up to 11, man. Hey, this gameplay doesn't feel not too shabby. I actually kind of like it more than I like NBA Street. It's a little clunky. I, I don't like the orange tint film that they added to literally every fucking scene. Off the easy pass to a teammate is crazy. How you play this game though? I don't know how to play the game. How do they have a game breaker already? We just started. Oh my God. And they're gonna dunk that, right? We just started the game. How'd they get it? <laughs> That's disrespectful. No way. Look at me dribble. Look at me dribble. That's disrespectful. That's disrespectful. Why did you pass? Pull up. Cash. Yeah. 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 Yes. Yes, Iverson. Yeah. 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 Yeah, we get disrespectful here. She <laughs> what? Repeat replay. One more time. That's disrespectful. Yo, these dribble moves, the, it's actually pretty simple. There's two different modifiers you can use, but the actual process is incredibly simple. Okay, triangle. I, I, I now have game breaker, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, sir. Say less. We out here. Okay, say less. <laughs> What? Okay. What did I do right there? I guess I got two points for that layup. When you get a level two game breaker in NBA Street Volume 2, you feel it. You know what's happening. Aside from that though, this game is significantly more fun than Volume 3. And I'm actually quite disappointed that it didn't pop off the way I wanted it to. Because the second this game dropped and didn't perform well, NBA Live and 2K are performing fantastic in the simulation department. The actual arcade genre for basketball just right to the ground. Uh, so I guess that just goes to show, hey, if y'all see a game out there that you love and you want to see more of it, support that next game we're playing is the ps3 version of nba jam it seems like every console that comes out every new generation they come out with an nba jam for it so this is the ps3 version of the game uh the disc is pretty generic it's pretty basic it looks a lot like this all righty nba jam this is the least exciting nba jam you'll see in this video the game itself doesn't have too much going on there's play now there's play online there's different game modes from the classic campaign remix tour remix modes boss battles welcome to classic campaign you'll have to fight your way through 36 different nba and secret teams to be crowned champion the first is the minnesota timberwolves between barnyani and derozan i'm liking my odds bad part about this nba jam is as you're gonna see between Bragnani, DeRozan, and Jarrett Jack, there's only three players to choose from from the Raptors, and that actually applies to all the team. All right, man, we playing, baby. God, what am I looking at? These aren't bobbleheads, the way you would expect from like an NBA Jam game. These are literal photos taken in like real life. Oh my! I did not mean to shoot that again. Good rebound. Pass it back. I see you. I see you. Let me get that. Let me get that. I did not get that. Okay, so he <laughs> all right love we getting disrespectful. That's cash Air ball. Hey, DeRozan's really saving me right now. I appreciate the pickup. DeRozan with the steal. Keep mind. I'm not using DeRozan Two-hand jam Defense play defense, please defense. It's necessary. This is so weird. There's one dribbling button in this circle 
The dunks are reminiscent of NBA Jam for sure. It's not as responsive. It's lagging behind a little bit, but I'm liking the alley-oops. Okay. All righty then. The unfortunate part about this game is there's no, like, game breaker. There's no, like... There's nothing you, you look forward to when you do these highlight plays. You're not building up meter to do anything. I, I mean, I don't want to hate on the experience. Like, this is not like what I'm looking for. And both the PS2 and the Genesis version were just more fun to play than this. Uh, all right. Well, uh, it's, it's apparent to you and me now why they didn't come out with any more NBA jams past this point. They just gave up. They knew the, the time has passed for NBA jam. This is not what people want to play anymore.